Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and on today's episode we're going to be joining uh, Rotocraft Power together uh, with the use of shaft junctions. Uh, what we're going to try eventually do is combine uh, four steam engines uh, into one power output to run a grinder here, which needs 128 newton meters, and this, these engines put out uh, 32. So if you times 32 by 4, you get 128. So that's what power we need. Okay, and first thing we need to do is make the shaft junctions, which are pretty easy. Base panels, two steel gins, uh, shafts and ingots, nothing too complicated. And you get two for each one, but we're going to need, uh, I think, four engines, so we need four, yes. There we go, four like that. Uh, let's go set up the engines first. Um, I've made a, another platform, because platforms is what I do. Uh, we're going to use the uh, the water system for the sprinklers that we had beforehand. I'm going to set up like that, and I'm going to come back later on and put fire to these Neverac to power these things up later. Uh, let's see, these things should be filling up with water. We'll give them a little bit of time to fill it with water. No, they seem to be filling up with water, but they're going to fill up this one first, first, and then this, and so forth. So let's get. We'll just put the shaft junctions on there now. Okay, I'm gonna chuck it like that, that, and that. Okay, so it's probably gonna be better if I. Hmm, it's going to be be better if I do this from above, just so you, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so if we get a handy dandy screwdriver out, what we want to do is we want to rotate this around so we can see the uh, the colored boxes, green being the input, red being the output. As you can see, there's only one output, so we want to uh, shift click. So it gets two outputs, so two red outputs. We want to do this, um, well actually no, sorry. Um, we want one input, two outputs for this one. Uh, actually better not, I'm missing something. Uh, not for that one, probably gonna need a bevel for that one. And a bevel, there we go. I was looking at that going, and that's a little bit odd, that's not how I envision it at all. So we're going to need a bevel. So, let's see, is that on output side, let's flick the output side around. Okay, so, input should be, input should be south. Wait on. Let's go output up, and then figure out which way this one's supposed to be going. West, so it should be north or south, I think north. Yep, north is the way, and output should be east. Yep, that's right. Okay, now we need to rotate these ones around. So these ones should be two inputs, one output, sorry, that's what was getting me confused. So one input from the engine, one input from the bevel, which is essentially from this engine. Uh, you need to do the same thing for this one as well, so two inputs, input, and this one we need to be hmm, just trying to get the output in the right direction. There we go. So essentially this one powers that, this one powers this, this one combines this and that, this one combines this and that, and so forth and so forth. So all the boxes along here should be uh, or actually all the boxes along here should be green. All the boxes along here should be red. So the idea is that the uh, adding their torque and their speed to together all at the same time. Now, if you're going to be combining our uh, engines, uh, it's a good idea, well actually more than a good idea, it's what you definitely need to do, is make sure the engines are all outputting at the same speed. So, if you've got different engines that do different engine speeds, these gearboxes uh, will break, or means uh, staff junctions will break. Um, way around this is to use gearboxes between the engine and the shaft junctions so you can uh, either increase the speed or decrease the speed through torque manipulation just so that they they all have an end output speed all equal the same so now we've got all these four hooked up we can probably uh, go around and light the fires can I, I'm not going to be able to reach all them from there so I'll go around the other way okay fire 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 there we go, and they should be boiling up a little bit. Okay, Whaler says 35, 36, 37. 
and it won't take them long to get to 100 degrees Celsius. So while that's happening, we're going to chuck our grinder in. Okay, as you can see, green bean power input. Okay, and what should we do from now on? Uh, let us... Have I got a tank? I've got a tank, yes. So I'm going to put a tank there. <laughs> Made that. Uh, I'm going to put the lubricant pipe on the other side. So when this thing creates lubricant, it should go into the tank. Which should give us a good measurement of how much lubricant we've got in the whole system. Because these pipes will automatically drain out the bottom of, of a tank. And now what we need to do is supply the grinder with... Uh, oh, hello spider with uh, canola seeds and so we're going to use the pneumatic pun ah, I'm just saying pneumatic, it's pneumatic uh, radiocraft and names it things I can't pronounce because I'm an idiot okay so we'll probably input from the output from the top oh, see that's them um, that little noise they're making is uh, essentially saying that that there's a speed difference um, that there's an issue that's because these engines were essentially not starting up exactly at the right moment, so that's fine if that happens. Okay, so that needs to go down, yes. So it goes down, shift click so they don't, uh, ow. Okay, one more like that. that and then we need to break off this one so we can rotate this one okay right oh dear rotate up this is hilarious okay so that's what happens when you um, break a pneumatic pipe system that's got items in it they all get th thrown out okay, we just chuck them all back in there uh, Okay, so that should be sending canola seeds in. Well, how far do these canola seeds get flown? All, all the way over here. That's hilarious. I bet I'm gonna be like, what? I'm gonna be like, tomorrow, gonna be walk around the base and be like, oh look, more canola seeds. Okay, so let's see, is this grinder running? Yes, it is, because we are producing the um, four times thirty-two uh, newton meters into one hundred twenty-eight, which is what's required. Um, the engine's receiving 65.53 kilowatts, which is of, uh, the engine power of a canola en I mean, uh, not a canola engine, a gasoline engine. So essentially it's a gasoline power with, uh, without the use of having to use ethanol. Uh, okay, so, oh, I was going to read how fast it was going, at 512, so. As you can see, uh, when you combine, uh, engine powers, you're not actually plussing the speeds together. Um, if something... If you're combining two engines that have a speed of 512 like we are now, the output speed is 512. The only thing that gets combined is the torque. Um, and usually it's the torque is uh, engine plus um, engine. The only time when it's uh, not... Oh, okay, well, I should be able to right click this with an open hand. Uh, am I thinking this correct? No. Uh, never mind, I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> Okay, so obviously lubricant's already been made because it's into that pipe, and let's see what Wayla says. Now making 678, and yeah, now we've got a canola production which is actually faster than the uh, the one we had before. Uh, I've managed to save myself a an engine controller, um, the ethanol uh, for the gasoline engine, and it just does up here. It just runs by itself and. I don't have to work, figure anything. Now I also get extra pneumatic pipes so I can break. So yeah. Okay. I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you like it, hit that like button. That always helps. Um, oh, obviously more canola seeds there. Yay. Um, if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Uh, uh, subscribe, of course. Do that. That would always help. Um, <laughs> and until next time, guys. Mm.